Um, all right, here we're looking at a human heart. We look, we look at the pericardial sac, which is not is absent. It's the sac that the heart is actually enclosed in. And then the parietal is, that's part of the parietal and fibrous services are on the inside of that sac. And we have the visceral, which is basically the epicardium. It's, it's the same, it's just the outer layer of the heart. So we work through the cardiac mass. And once, it, once again, this is just the epicardium, which is the outer layer of the heart. Working more into the heart. We'll go down into it. The epicardium, the myocardium, and the endocardium, the innermost layer. If we look at the inside of, this is actually the right ventricle here. If we look at the inside, we have these fibrous strands, which are what the, which compose the chordae tendinae. The chordae tendinae come down and hook into the papillary muscle which actually controls the chordae tendinae. The chordae tendinae hook to the, the valves inside the heart. Work through the, the top and bottom chambers of the heart. The top chambers are the atria. The bottom chambers are the ventricles. What you're looking at right in here, this void space is actually the right atria and the right atria by way the blood comes into the right atria and goes through the tricuspid valve you can kind of see it here it goes from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve down into the right ventricle um, from the right ventricle the blood goes through the pulmonary trunk from the right ventricle to the pulmonary trunk you have a pulmonic semilunar valve so from the pulmonary trunk the blood goes to the pulmonary arteries goes to the lungs to get oxygen O2 goes out comes back via the the pulmonary veins pulmonary veins come into what is actually the left ventricle the left atrium the left atrium goes down into the left ventricle the valve that the blood passes through is the mitral valve which is not visible from the outside of the heart from the right vent from the left ventricle the blood goes to the aortic semilunar valve then to the aorta which is this bigger structure on top of the heart that you can't really see and then from the aorta to the rest of the heart. Hey, right. yeah. <laughs> also we want to take a quick glance at the, the oracles just the upper portions of the of both atria here you have your left oracle and your right oracle and that's the heart